Hello, my name is Steven Monson. I'm a web designer with a company called EasyNet Tools. And today I'm going to be showing you how to add categories to a WooCommerce catalog. As you can see here, we have a catalog with various items and they're just sort of all stuck together in one big page. Uh, they're all in what we call the uncategorized category. If I go to the back end, I'm going to go right here in the top left hand corner. And then if I go over here to products and categories, you'll see right now we don't have any categories at all, uh, except for the default uncategorized one. This is the category, of course, that everything goes in if you forget to put it in a category. I've occasionally had customers that will rename this something else and then that'll cause them confusion and they'll suddenly have things in one particular category uh, that they weren't expecting. So don't rename this, or at least if you do, make sure it's something that is obvious that it's meant to be uncategorized. Like you could name it miscellaneous or something, but I wouldn't name it uh, hats because then anything you forget to categorize will end automatically go in hats. But um, let me show you how to make a new category. So over here on the left, I'm just gonna make a category called hats actually, because we have several hats in this catalog. And you just put the name exactly how you want it to look right here, name. Slug, you can pretty much skip this. What this does is it takes what your, your category's name was and takes out any spaces it might have and any capital letters and just makes it hats. So it'll automatically do this, basically. Uh, it'll say hats like that, but you don't need to type it in. It'll take care of it for you. The only reason you might do this is if you want to maybe, I don't know, make it shorter than what your actual category name is. But for the most part, just leave it alone. Parent category is if you wanted to have a subcategory. So let's say we had a parent category called apparel and we wanted to have a subcategory of hats, we could do that. But for right now, I think we'll just go ahead and keep it a top level category. So we'll have a parent category of none. Description could just be a little description about what the category is, basically. It's good for SEO to have something here, but it's not necessary. So we could say something like, you know, an assortment of hats. And we could definitely flesh that out a lot more, but that'll do for now. This right here says display type. Most of the time you'll just leave it default, but occasionally you might have a, a catalog where you want to only show the subcategories. So for example, if I had an apparel category and I didn't want to just show all of the apparel, all the products that are inside of it, I could just show the subcategories and then I would choose this. But for now, we're just going to leave it as default. And, and honestly, most of the time, I just probably avoid changing this at all because you'll usually want to do this uniformly across your website and not per category. But on the rare chance that you do want to, that's what it's for. And finally, thumbnail. I'm going to click here and I'm going to upload a photo. I have a photo of a handful of hats all together uh, right here. I'm just going to upload it to WordPress. In here, you'll see it. I'll give it an alt tag to say stack of hats. And then I'm going to click use image in the bottom right hand corner here. And that's it. I've made a category. I just need to hit add category. And you'll see this brand new category exists. The image is not always necessary. It depends on how you're doing your website. But if, let's say you had a page that presented all of your categories first. Um, then having an image for each one is going to make it look a lot nicer. Um, so there's definitely good reasons to put images here. You can either make it one of the products in that category, or you can use like some kind of representative photo, like a bunch of, of products all together, which is sometimes even nicer. Um, so I've made the category called hats, but right now there's nothing in it. Uh, if I go here, if I click on hats, it is just going to be an empty category. So what I need to do now is basically, you know, put some products in. There's a couple of ways we could do this. One way is we could go into each product individually. Like I could go in here to cowboy hats, and then I can click on edit product. And then I could go over here and uncheck uncategorized and then check hats. If I hit update, it'll now move into that category. So I'm gonna go back to view products. You'll see that the category it's in is now hats. And if I click on the hats cat or the hat category, 
you'll see it now has a product. Now that's great if you're doing just a couple. If you want to do a bunch, um, let's say you've made a bunch of products, but you've decided later to add categories. Uh, we could go back here to products and all products. And we can do what's called a quick edit. So let's say I know I want to change leprechaun hats in this straw hat. Um, I could do it this right here, just click on quick edit. And then over here, uncheck it, push hats, update. And then do the same thing for straw fedora. Uncategorize, uncheck, and check hats. Very good. And that works pretty well. Uh, you can even do a whole bunch at the same time too by like checking these boxes and then going here to edit and apply. And then I could put all of these in hats, which would not be right. I'd actually need to make a new category for sunglasses. So let's do that. So I'm going to go back to categories and I'm going to make a brand new category called sunglasses. I'm going to not worry about having a parent. I'm not going to even worry about a description either, but I will add an image. In this case, I'm just going to take one of my sunglass images I already have to kind of represent it. Maybe we'll do that one. And then we're going to hit add category. Now I have a category for sunglasses and hats. I'm going to go back to all products and I'm going to take all of my sunglasses and put them in there at once. So I'm going to check this one and this one and this one. And then I'm going to go to bulk actions, edit, and then I'm going to click apply. Then I can just basically say sunglasses. I'm going to check all of them to be sunglasses and then we're going to hit update. And it will actually take all of those products and put them in that category for me. So I'm going to go back here and we're going to go to back to our shop. If I click on sunglasses, they're all in there. That looks, looks really good. If I go back to our shop here, let's see if there's anything else we need to do. I guess there is also like this t-shirt here and also this kind of branding bundle, which has a variety of things. Now here's an interesting concept here. Let me take a look at this branding bundle. If I click on this and hit edit, this is a case where I might want to put this in hats because it is a, it has a hat. And maybe if I made another one called t-shirts, I could put it also in the t-shirts category. And I could even put it in like a mugs category. So let's actually do that. Let's make a couple more categories. I'm gonna to go to categories over here. I'm gonna make one called mugs. And I'm just gonna grab an image. I think I have an image in mind for that already. Let's see, this one right here. It's a picture of a couple of bugs, looks nice. And I might give it an alt tag just for good measure. Uh, two mugs stacked. And let's add that new category. And then finally, I'm going to add one last category for shirts. And let's just grab an image. For now, I'll just take this image. It doesn't really matter too much. We're going to add that category. Now I have several categories. We're going to go back to products. Now let's go ahead and put our shirts in the shirt category. I'll just do that like this, apply. And let's put it in the shirts category, update. Very good, and now I'm going to take my mugs and put them in the mug category. So this one and this one and the blue one as well. Edit, apply, put it in the mugs category. Update. And now let's just go take a look again. Um, right, we should see that our mugs now are in the mugs category. Our shirts are in the shirts category. I'm going to do one last thing to kind of show you how parent and child categories work. So if I go to products and categories again, I can actually make a category called mm, apparel. 
and I'm going to keep it as the top level. And I'm going to go in here and just pick a picture. Um, for now, I'm just going to do this one. So now I have a top level called apparel. And oops, I noticed something. I should have capitalized that, but it's easy to fix. I'm going to go to quick edit and just give that a capital A. Now I have a category that I want to be my top level, but I want to put hats and I want to put shirts and I want to put sunglasses under it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit hats and I'm going to change the parent category from none to apparel. Hit update. Go back to categories on the left here. And then we're going to go to shirts and sunglasses and do the same thing. If we go back to our product categories, you'll see that this is now, these are now indented underneath apparel. And if you click on apparel, all of the items that are under apparel show up here. Now, remember how I said you can change the display type? Just for fun, let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna edit this category. And now instead of having it show, um, sorry, under display type, instead of having it show the default, I'm actually gonna have it just show subcategories. I'll hit update. And then we're gonna view our category again. And now you'll see when I click on the apparel category, it actually shows me my subcategories of hats, shirts, sunglasses. Now, if you wanted to do this a bunch of times, there's no reason to have to do this every single time. Uh, so I wouldn't actually do it this way. I'm gonna change it back to the default. I'm gonna hit update. And there's actually a setting that is global uh, under WooCommerce and settings. Actually, what we want to do is we wanna click on customize. And then we're going to go to WooCommerce and we're going to go to product catalog. Here we can choose if we want our categories to show subcategories or subcategories and products. In the case of our apparel, uh, that will mean that it will show just the, the subcategories or I could do it so it actually shows both. So it'll show the categories first followed by the products that are inside of those categories. Both can be very useful. Um, so that's really everything you need to know about categories in WooCommerce. If you found this tutorial helpful, let me know in the comments, give this video a like and a, or a thumbs up. And yeah, appreciate your time. Have a great day.